certain time of the day, the shadow is falling. Yada of certain time, I will tell you. A devastar of the devil, there it is, there it is, shadow. It is falling. So, this is height of the field. I will give one meter stick. With the above this stick, we have to measure the shadow and find the height of the field. How? It is called. How means? To keep the one meter stick, one meter stick is only eight point. Parallel, parallel to this stick. And we will get the shadow of this stick. It may be double or twice what it may be. Akasmat, one meter stick can also be two meter a shadow also. Two meter per way more than it is, two point per way more than it is, three or eight may be. Then with the help of this stick, you measure the shadow of the pillar. For example, it is eight point four meter. It appears the parallel. Then you can tell the relation now. Okay, 1 is to 2. So height 1 is there, shadow double is there. And then this shadow is 8.4 is there. So the height of the pillar is half of this. So it is 4.2. It is very simple. So this concept was explained by a famous Greek. Mathematician called Thales. A famous Greek mathematician called Thales. He was Thales, a Greek mathematician on 547 BC. He was used to draw the line segments, geometrical concepts, and theorems. And his name, a famous theorem, is there. Then we will discuss the theorem also. So he was a Thales. He used to find the height of the pyramids by using the shadow city method. You know pyramids. Other shadow will try a shadow out on the highest height in the He is measuring. So this was the important theorem. So today we are going to discuss. So you can observe 1 by 2 is equal to 4.2 by 8.4. See 1s are 2s are. If two ratios are equal, is called as what means proportional. Is called what? Proportional. So this starts a theorem. The theorem is called as basic proportionality theorem. In short form, it is also called. BPD and it is also called Thales theorem. Basic proportional theorem, Thales theorem, or BPD it stops. How it explains? See here, how do you understand? We can observe this straw here. So this is length 5 cm. 5 cm take the length of the straw. You can take a mobile touch in a wall. You just give a mobile touch, you put a body sheet. We will find final for the shadow. Here, this is the light. See, we are getting the shadow. And also the shadow, friends. Yes. With the help of this scale, you measure the length of the shadow at home only. See, like this. At certain distance, don't shake it, cardboard, it, keep it on the table and do it. Table and do it, money, correct, and similar. Same with it. See. Here, we are getting the length. 6.5 or if you keep like this, you get extent. You keep in one position and mark down the length of the shadow. Similarly, you take another straw which is doubled. So this is 5 cm, this is 10 cm. And you keep it here. And observe the parallel to each other and keep it here. See now you can observe now. Here shadow is length like this and length also it is doubled. See here, doubled. So this concept is called what means proportional or proportionality. These two ratios are equal. Based on this, he formulated the theorem. That is what basic proportionality. So what this statement tells about that? Before that, first you observe this. 
point. Steve has worked on this. Correct. What is this? Bubble line. Yes. Good. I will draw this straight diagram line. First straight line. Next. See, one triangle is there. Can observe this figure now. Right. Triangle is there. Yes. And the straight line is passing through the triangle. Okay. I put a condition. This line is parallel to any one side of the triangle. Here there are how many sides? Three sides. A, B, C. And this line is there, no? Right line. This should be parallel to any one side. I will observe a triangle B, C here. Draw a parallel. Yes, I draw a parallel line. To which side? B, C. You have a parallel from what is name? Basic ground and So, are AB from our model. First, you observe this figure. Next, what happens? After drawing AB, we look up again. We can see here intersects two distinct points. See, after drawing, it intersects other two sides. These are the other two sides. Intersect two distinct points. I will mark it as D and E. Ah, you two points are now. Line draw mark it. Cut out it. I have two points. Now D and D are the mark point. Okay. Next, draw mark it. Okay. Other two sides. See, now I have AB. AB divides into two portions. You have two portions. AD, D. Next one is AE. Easy. You measure the length. The length then I measure mark it. And verify and observe. What happens? That is the So, for that, here are the A simple activity, another one. Same one, you see. I will draw a triangle here. Also, the triangle ABC. Same. One thing. Here, I'll take a measurement of the moon. Let this be 5 cm. A. B, C, C5. Now it is double C. S is double means the length is 10. Now we mark a point of 2 cm here. So that is B. It divides 2. The remaining portion is 1. Now the question is I will draw parallel from D. A slider is drawn like this. Is it parallel? Is it this line is parallel to BC? No. The line is not parallel to DC. So you draw a line parallel to BC. How? See this is line not parallel. X, Y are the A. We draw a line parallel to BC. Now we observe this D is parallel to this. After drawing the par parallel draw mod all way here. Here A is what 2? I told this is 2. The remaining portion is what 3. And you observe the other two sides. This is 2. See here it also doubles. That becomes how much? 4. Here the remaining portion is 3. Here this also doubles. See? Become so much six. You have the other two sides. Two by three is equal to what? Four by six. C two two is a two three is a. Divides into what? Same ratio. It is also called what? Proportion. So this is a proof of basic property of a practical method, not material. Now, next class, we will go to study about two factors. So, this activity is what we have explained two three different activities. I think, students, you have clear this concept. One thing I will repeat we should know the uh, how to write the statement. See, first, we 
attributes, only points. What is this? Tell you this. Line, yes. What about this line? Is not what? Parallel to one set of triangles. No, no, no. Need not to buy it. Okay. Next. After drawing, you can decide the two points, P and E. Then what about the other two sides? Same. The line divides the other two sides. The same ratio that is called proportion. So that's why when you can tell that A D Y D B is equal to another side of the A E Y. Take down this. So write a question and take down this. You see what I have. So this is a diagram I have. You can write down any bit. If in exam they lost any type of diagram, you are able to write the form. For example, one question. So we write diagram like this. A, B, C. Yamel. And Yamel is parallel to what? A. Is it Yamel like parallel like that? Yamel is parallel like that. Is it D, E, B, C parallel like that? A by two formula A D by two D. Other is it? Is it going to A E by two D? Will I be able to first write down the parallel lines? A M parallel to A B. Then C N by C N by N B is it going to the remaining side of the third side? C M by N B. Then what happens? The sides are proportional. So once again, I will repeat the statement. By drawing, writing the diagram, you remember. First, you write like that is like this: straight line, a triangle on one side, two distinct points, and divides. This is the cube. Now, wait. If a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, if a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersects. Other two sides, other two sides at distinct points. Then a line divides other two sides in the same ratio. That is called proportion. I'll write once again. This statement is one of them. This is activity diagrams. So an example will give the question like this: Eight. Basic proportionality theorem. Sometimes the last question like this: state and enunciate a really big or big big is also called what? Bayes theorem. Very simple. See here. How to write the definition? First, state and initiate one more question for examination. State basic proportion. Yes. So first, you remember the diagram of x line. I need to write it. First, you know, straight line. First, diagram of it. Diagram of it. Easy, easy to understand. First, triangle. What is the triangle? A B C. Now draw a parallel line. D E parallel to B C. We should write down the parallel mark like this. See, start this statement. If a line drawn, so this word is important. Parallel to one. Side of triangle intersects other two sides. Intersect other two sides at distinct points. Other two sides at distinct points, which divides. Other two sides in 
Okay, I am going to drop this now because I think uh, only this uh, only run of the next we have one question of simple. So this is we think that is what they are saying. So one question here. Uh, you see in general we will talk like this. Nano Parikshali Nano Chanagi Bodhi Vita Parik first time. Nano Chanagi Bodhi Vita. I work hard hard work and smart work. I got first in the year. Another sentence. Now first time work can I know? Chana go. Here there are two statements. Now chana go in the first time work. Now first time work can I know? Chana go. Here get that idea. Here observe the diagram. If you draw a line parallel to one side of it, then the sides divide should be proportional. To think about reverse. Converse of it. If you know the about converse of VPT, then I am telling you the telling reverse way. So what VPT explains? Parallel on it. There are other sides to one that side of proportional. Here I observe the triangle. A, B, C. Here I observe the triangle. Here I observe the triangle. Here I observe the triangle. It's looking like parallel, but I don't know this parallel or not. So here A, B. Imagine length three. It is six, it is five, and ten. So you observe the sides here. Here we have three. This is six by six. This is four by five by ten. See here, one side, two side, one side, two side. Here what happens? The line divides other two sides in same ratio. Proportional divide mark I. And then this line, E line, E can I use that? So this is Carlos. Beauty by the way, Carlos is in my body. So here, Carlos and Beauty by the way, if this time I'm like this, A, B, this one, Y, P, B, is equal to here, side is one, A, Q, but, you see, then, this line, P, Q, here I get the parallel to this. So this is called columns. How to state means if a line divides two sides of a triangle in same ratio are proportional. If a line divides two sides of a triangle in same ratio are proportional, then the line that line is parallel to third side. It's parallel to third side. So this is the statement of one of 